know how it was gonna go. I didn't know if she was gonna go to jail. If she wasn't, we was just praying. Like uh, we hope that she was stay those drugs. They tried to make my daughter a mastermind, like two for the two for the three. Like people that were twice her age couldn't do anything because they were being accused of all the cheap years. So I didn't know what to expect from this girl. The FBI does not bring a case for another. So tonight we're making nachos. Hi, how are you? Making nachos tonight. I, we call them machos, but nachos. And that's going to be fun because I'm going to use the sofrito that I made the other night. So, let's see. I'll try to go slow tangent and wait on you. Because I don't really have much to do. Bring the camera over here. To the pan. Yeah, that'll work. I'm just trying to make sure I got enough room to make nachos using let me put my apron on. I know I messed up an apron. So she evidently didn't go to jail then. Yeah, she's still telling it though. Now she didn't go to jail. Hola. What's the name of the show? Oh, this here. This this apron is not right. But I'm gonna tie it and use it anyway. Cause I can. I can make it work. Okay, my little raggedy apron. Anyway, hello. We're making nachos, also known as machos. So what I'm going to do, really, is brown. So the other night I made sofrito. And if you haven't seen how I created that sofrito, please check out my video where I make sofrito. And that's what's gonna go into the meat tonight. So I'm using ground turkey and some, we're going to use ground turkey and some sweet Italian sausage. These are also turkey. So this is a low carb idea that is healthy and very tasty. Hey Michael, thanks for joining. How are you? I'm making um, nachos tonight. We we call them machos because of all the stuff we put on them. But I'm going to show how the sofrito can be used to make it. And that was the other night when I made this. This is the sofrito. I did the video. And that's how much actually this fills up this whole container. And it, it filled it up perfect. It was like just the right amount. So I'm starting with um, ground turkey. And... It's going to be turkey sausage. So when it's complete, we'll have like um, the meat, you know, you lay it down on top of your ch uh, tortilla chips. Then you put your cheese and your sour cream and olives, onions, jalapenos, whatever you like. So I'm trying to burn time because my daughter has to go pick up my grandson from work and we wanted to eat together. So I'm trying to just like take my time so I'm gonna put the pan I'm gonna put the camera on the pan that way you can see it like that all right so we're gonna start out by browning some sofrito here we go and that's a good don't want too much of it 
just want enough. All right, so that'll do it. That should flavor the meat pretty well. And the thing about browning it or giving it a little uh, saute is that it will help to bring the, the flavors out. But my daughter also likes to eat it uh, raw as a condiment on top of her nachos. So you can do that too. Some people may find that it's a bit strong for them, but you can do that too. So once I brown this, I'm going to add the, and see, with the sofrito, so you have everything in it. You don't have to cut up onions and peppers and garlic because it's already there. And I'll take the skin off the sausage. I just don't want it on there. So once it starts to turn a little brown, I can then begin to add the sausage to it. That way, you don't have like the challenge of chewing up the skin, the casing that they put the sausage in. I don't want it to turn that down. I don't usually use sausage in it, but I just thought it would um, enhance the turkey flavoring. Because I'm going to add the seasonings that make it. Because I don't use the taco seasoning in the in the package. It's too much sodium and things like that. So I'm just going to go ahead on and make my own and stuff. Okay. Starting to get a little brown. When it gets about like that, it's starting to crisp up. You don't want it to burn, but so, and I took about three of those sausages, and that's about how I want that. And let that brown. So let's pray. Just want to say a prayer. Turn this way down. Father, I thank you for this evening of sharing with my friends who, who join in the live. I pray that they come in and watch and that they learn something and take something away and teach me as well along the way. I thank you that this food will be good. It will be better than I expected. I'll enjoy it and, and it, it just share it with everybody, the recipe. And I thank you for all those that join. Amen. Okay, so... This is good. We got it to where now you can see that. I'm gonna get it where you can see it. We can start to add the sausage and the ground turkey. I don't think I even need to add this whole thing. Maybe about two thirds of it. And let me see where I'm at when I'm when it finishes. Turn the flame down because it's pan. So we get it all stirred in. Yeah, that looks like enough for Frito. Because like I said, she's going to add some on top of hers. Her machos. Anyway, she's already got cheese sauce melted. I don't usually use the cheese sauce. I just use the grated cheese. So that's a free throw. Really enhances the flavor. It helps to bring out um, another level of flavor. I'd say. You put a little bit of salt, and that's pink Himalayan salt. That is pink Himalayan salt. We're going to add some, about a teaspoon right there of garlic powder. We're going to add some, about a half a teaspoon, about a half a teaspoon right there of cumin. Cumin should never take over the flavor. It should just enhance it. We're going to add some parsley flakes. And the mastermind of it all is the chili powder. I 
think this is a brand new one. Yeah, chili powder wasn't open. So, I'm going to add some chili powder. See how that works. And just a hint of black pepper because we're also going to top these with jalapenos. So, you don't want the meat hot and everything hot. So, so far, I turned it down so it could sweat instead of frying too fast. Now I want to speed it up. So what we're going to do, since she has to go out, since she has to go out and pick up my grandson, what we're going to do is, we got our, everything already prepared, so all I had left was the meat. We're going to come back on live and eat it. So that's like a little miniature muck thing, not really a lot going on there. But it should be fun. So, so far, so good. We got the meat browning. And that was basically it. I'm going to add some, um, a little bit of smoked paprika and a little bit of onion powder to this. So you can see that. Not too much of that. A little bit of that. That's a half, less than a half a teaspoon. And I'm going to add some onion powder. But I'm not going to, I don't want any like really big vegetables in here because this is, this a free throw has it all. All right, so. How's everybody's day been? It was a really good day today. I checked out his program at Simpson Park. The uh, gentleman's name is Tim Abrams, and he's starting a um, Fit 21 exercise program for people in the community to come out. So I checked that out. That was pretty nice. And I think he's doing it with meal planning and prepping for the community. People that join will be able to um, also um, partake of his meals that he will put together for them according to their dietary needs or something like that. So, and I think he's going to have various trainers come out and do things. I know he mentioned Pilates. He might have a yoga instructor. I'm going to go back and check it out. So, the meat's coming along, browning up nice. I'm... I'm sure the sausage is pretty much mixed in very well. And it made its own broth because all I had in here was um, a little bit of olive oil in the pan. That was it. And the surprising thing is, I have done it, used to always make this with um, ground beef, but I really prefer the turkey. And I'm trying to stay away from red meat. And this is eat healthy and live happy, so we're trying to do the better, make the better choices. So if you're going to eat meat, you're going to say use turkey. Totally up to you if you decide to make this. But I like the ground beef, the ground turkey because it's less oily, less fat, less animal fat. Okay. So basically... Sandra, come take a look and let me know okay. if I need to. I think that's enough meat. I did like three-fourths of the package and taste the piece of this. It does need a hint more chili powder. What? That's the amount of meat that I got. That's enough? Yeah. I think it is. I'm yeah. going to add one pack of scissors. And it could use just a tad more cumin, which would be another half teaspoon. So we're basically up to about. Uh, and I think you put some annatto chili in What kind? Annatto, annatto chili. What's annatto chili? Um, it's in that cabinet. Oh, well, I'm not going fishing through there. I know there's a natto, but I never heard of a natto chili. A natto, never Are you talking about the color? Yeah. 
I'm just looking for the flavor. I don't need really, all it being red doesn't matter to me. I don't need that. A nato? Mm. See now my daughter's is in suggesting things, but she could have just made it. <laughs> Cause she's actually the, the excellent at this. I mean you don't have to cook turkey to death. It's already done. Just getting the rest of that onion powder off the spoon. You need to taste it before you go. And tell me what you think, Tandra. Mm -hmm. It's very mild. It's my spoon right here. Tell me what you think. Because it's very mild. It turns it off just about. Okay. It's, it's not like... You put something over it? Mm-hmm. Y'all keep saying what? It's mild. It's pretty mild. You want me to hack it up? A little bit. With what? Um. Did you use chili powder? I did. It's a plenty mm. of chili powder. Mm. Pepper, parsley, cumin, garlic. Mm. That's it. Yeah, that's it, man. You can put the top on it and let it, you know, let it go a little bit, a little bit longer. And that's going to be that. I'm going to let that cook because, you know, once the, actually, I don't want to over season it. Once the seasoning starts to settle in, then it'll all pow. I don't like to over season and then when you get it on your plate, you can't add anything else to your food because you got too much of it already. So, how was your day? After the um, going to the um, the twenty one Jumpstart Fitness and checking that out, then we went back over to the boxing. So it's pretty busy. Everything is cool. So this meat is done. We have like we have these trays, our favorite, which is our football trays. I don't know why, but they have the condiments in them. And then I'm gonna just cut up these chips. This one has olives, tomatoes, and there's another one on the table with sour cream and cheese. So when we come back, when I come back, well, she had to go get my grandson. So when she comes back, we'll be able to plate that. There's really nothing else to do. We've already did a lot of the prep work. And it is delicious. If you ever make it, try to have some of this on deck. Very good. That's what pulls it together. Now I'm thinking I should just go ahead on and cook the not the um, tortillas. I think she's gonna fry hers. I put mine in the air fryer. I think she's gonna fry hers in the pan because she's using the regular tortillas. I use the low carb. These here. Where's the? Where did I put them? A lot of people are turned on to these right here. The mission. These right here. I can eat like three of them today because I haven't had a lot of food today. The only thing I had was some a little bit of leftovers. You know I'm gonna eat three of these. <laughs> I'm going to eat three of these. Oh, that basket right there. No, on the the table with the lamp by my door. Yeah, by my bedroom door. Yeah, that's where the key is in there. Yes, hurry back so we can get this on the plate because I sort of ate already and I'm hungry. I might not be hungry. I may just be greedy. That's probably what it is. Huh? I think so. I think I, I think so. So that way the, the, the liquid kind of like cooked out. So that's where you're going to get a concentration of flavor because the liquid cooked out. That should be enough meat. I should have did it all. My grandson like to eat. But anyhow, we'll stop right there. Okay, so we'll tune back in in a couple of minutes when she gets back. All I'm going to do is put those tortillas in the air fryer. And she, when she comes back, we'll plate it up and we'll sit down and eat it. That'll be our little mukbang. Bye.